Today, we delve into one of the most remarkable episodes in the Old Testament, the story of Joshua's unwavering faith and his incredible command to halt the movement of the sun and the moon. This miraculous event unfolded around 1200 BC as the Israelites, led by Joshua, were on the cusp of fulfilling God's promise to inherit the promised land after 40 years of wandering in the Sinai Desert. Joshua's leadership and the challenge ahead. Under the leadership of Joshua, the successor to Moses, the Hebrew tribes had reached the borders of Canaan. However, this land was already inhabited by various peoples, including the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, and Jebusites. To secure their place in Canaan, the Israelites had to engage in fierce battles. Among the Canaanite cities, the city of Gibeon stood as a formidable power. Intriguingly, the Gibeonites, aware of the imminent danger, resorted to cunning tactics. They deceived Joshua, pretending to be distant allies and signed a peace treaty with him. Furious upon discovering the deceit, Joshua chose to honor the pact, making the Gibeonites allies of Israel. However, this alliance did not sit well with other Amorite kings, who formed a coalition to punish the renegade city. In this dire situation, Gibeon sought Joshua's assistance, setting the stage for a decisive battle where Israel had to assert its supremacy over Canaan, facing overwhelming odds. Before delving further into this extraordinary event, let's pause and analyze the stark numerical disadvantage Israel faced in this impending battle. Joshua and his army arrived to support Gibeon, confronting a dire situation. They were up against a coalition of five powerful Amorite kings who were determined to subdue the city that had made peace with the Hebrews. According to the biblical texts, the kings of Jerusalem, Hebron, Jarmuth, Lachish, and Eglon had united against Gibeon. Their combined forces formed a formidable army with experienced soldiers, chariots, and horses, significant military assets of the time. In contrast, Joshua and the Israelite warriors had recently emerged from decades of wandering in the desert, lacking experience in the sedentary art of war practiced in Canaan. Moreover, they were devoid of chariots, placing them at a considerable disadvantage. It is estimated that the Israelite army numbered no more than 20,000 men, while the Amorite forces likely outnumbered them two to threefold. Adding to the challenge, the Israelite soldiers were on foot, while the enemy possessed hundreds of chariots, formidable war machines for that era. To compound matters, the Amorite kings had chosen a tactically advantageous location, the Valley of Ajalon a narrow passage conducive to ambushes and difficult to access for an infantry army. A miracle of faith. Despite these seemingly insurmountable odds, the Israelites did not waver, placing their confidence not in the sheer number of soldiers or chariots, but in the strength of the Eternal. Under the resolute leadership of Joshua, they marched forward, steadfast in their belief that God would fight for them if they remained faithful. Faced with an imminent military disaster, Joshua turned to divine intervention through a cosmic miracle. With his eyes lifted to the sky, he implored, as recorded in Joshua 10, 12, 14, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and you, moon, in the valley of Ajalon. In a remarkable turn of events, the sun stood still, and the moon ceased its motion for about a whole day. This miraculous intervention defied the very laws of nature, emphasizing the theological significance of God's support for his chosen people. A divine victory. The prayer was answered beyond all expectations, and Israel emerged victorious in a resounding triumph. The numerical disadvantage proved inconsequential when faith remained unshaken. The sun and the moon, celestial bodies that had followed their cosmic dance with perfect regularity throughout history, suddenly halted in their course at the voice of a man, a striking demonstration of God's power. The consequences and implications 
The consequences of this remarkable battle were far-reaching. The coalition of Amorite kings was shattered, clearing the path for the Israelites' conquest of Canaan. Through this extraordinary miracle, God reaffirmed his unwavering support for his chosen people, spreading the news like wildfire and solidifying the reputation of the God of Israel. A cosmic phenomenon and spiritual message. While some have sought rational explanations, such as a prolonged solar eclipse or exceptional mirages, the biblical account underscores the theological meaning of the event. It was through the prayer of a servant that God intervened, defying the laws of nature for the victory of his people. This extraordinary episode serves as a testament to the power and love of God, foreshadowing the salvation offered to all through Jesus Christ. Joshua a model of faithfulness. The question arises, who was this Joshua that the Eternal would heed his prayer in such a spectacular manner? What were the qualities of his relationship with God that earned him such intimacy? The Bible provides valuable insights into the life of Joshua, a man who walked closely with his Lord. Joshua exemplifies faithfulness, accompanying Moses closely throughout his mission. During the Exodus, he stood out as a valiant warrior with unshakable faith. His role in the battle against the Amalekites, where he led the troops while Moses interceded, showcased the complementarity in serving the chosen people. Additionally, Joshua was known for his humility. When he was chosen as the leader to succeed Moses, he did not seek the position, but accepted it with humility and a sense of duty. This humility and submission to God's will played a crucial role in his ability to lead the Israelites faithfully. Furthermore, Joshua was a man of prayer. His reliance on divine guidance and his willingness to seek God's counsel in critical situations set him apart as a leader. The sun-stopping miracle itself was a testament to his deep faith and the power of his prayer. Joshua's commitment to following God's commands was unwavering. He not only received instructions from God, but also ensured that the people of Israel followed them meticulously. His obedience to God's guidance was a key factor in the Israelites' success in conquering the Promised Land. The story of Joshua's faith and the sun's stopping miracle is a remarkable account of divine intervention in the face of overwhelming odds. It serves as a powerful reminder that faith, humility, prayer, and obedience to God's commands can lead to extraordinary outcomes. Joshua's life and leadership provide valuable lessons for all who seek to live a life of faith and devotion to their Creator. This event in the book of Joshua not only secured a significant victory for the Israelites, but also reinforced the belief in God's providence and the importance of unwavering faith. It is a testament to the idea that when we place our trust in the divine, even the laws of nature can be suspended to fulfill God's purpose. As we reflect on this miraculous moment, we are reminded of the enduring message it carries an invitation to place our trust in the Almighty, to walk in faith even in the face of insurmountable challenges, and to follow the example of Joshua, a faithful servant of God who experienced the extraordinary through his unwavering commitment to his Creator. The sun-stopping miracle remains a symbol of hope, reminding us that with faith, anything is possible, and with God, all things are achievable. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.